So I've been back and forth on, you know, the thousand dollar magic anniversary pack. And then, you know, I saw a video, I saw some mention of it, I guess in a comment section of a live stream that Ruxin, who is a Yu-Gi-Oh player, he's a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. I do, I have, I have watched his channel in the past when he was much smaller. Uh, he does cover finance, but mostly he just opens packs of the newest stuff. He was sponsored by Wizard of the Coast and paid money. Now, one thing that I really don't like about sponsorships on YouTube is you don't know how much money you were paid. You don't know if there's an affiliate link or you paid a set base price and then for every person you sign up, like whatnot, for instance, um, they pay, depending on if you are a content streamer for them, they pay you, if you are, they pay you $25 for every person you sign up and they get a $15 credit. Now, if you're just an ordinary person and you don't really have a YouTube channel of any size, even YouTube channels 5,000 or 10,000 can get that 25 cash and 15 you know, bonus credit for the signing up. Um, I assume that's what Tolarian Community College has um, and he's sponsored by Whatnot and actually I saw him on Whatnot and he w wasn't really selling stuff. He was just talking about how magic was dying and on Whatnot. <laughs> So I'm sure they uh, gave him a good beating afterwards to uh, tell him, hey, you gotta sell some stuff to Larian. Ruxin, I, so number one, I like Ruxin. Do I like Brian Kibler? No, I hate Brian Kibler. Um, so what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna kind of, pre I'm gonna say this in a way that like, is as kind as I can. This is an absolute travesty that they give Ruxin some packs. I think they give him two boxes, $2,000 plus whatever cash to say this is a sponsored video. And his comment section is absolutely, it's a bunch of magic players saying that this product sucks, right? But they excuse him because he's a Yu-Gi-Oh content creator. Roxon is smarter than that. He already knows about this product. If you play Yu-Gi-Oh, you know about magic. If you play magic, you know about Yu-Gi-Oh. Like to the basis, especially if there's a new exciting product. Like I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, but I know if there's a new product of a Ghost Rare or a Chase or Starlight Rare. I know like the basics if you will. It's odd, right? Uh, two things could be happening here. One, maybe Wizard of the Coast went to the big YouTubers like Tolarian and I mean, I would love to hear if they did and then they turned down the sponsorship, which I think is a lot of money. And then they went to Ruxin or secondly, they just knew that this product was so toxic to Magic players, they went directly to the Yu-Gi-Oh community and tried to get them to buy it. It's weird, you know, it's weird. I like Ruxin and now I'm gonna get to the nasty part. I think anyone who takes this sponsorship for this product, whether or not it's Hunter Pence, you know, and Instagram, there's different ways to do it. Instagram, there's a Twitter, there's people on Twitter, there's Brian Kibler who does a commercial. There's different ways to get money from this blood. It's a blood diamond. No, it's not. I don't want to make it seem as drastic, right? Obviously, if you watch the movie Blood Diamond, you know that a lot of people die for these diamonds to be, you know, for engagement rings and it's a very terrible thing, but this is Magic the Gathering's version of a contaminated asset. This is a, a, a thing where uh, they offered me a sponsorship, I wouldn't take it, even though I might consider buying it. And I'm really, after seeing a Ruxin video, I don't want to buy it. So I've been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? Because I really don't like what Alpha Investment said about it. I don't believe he's not gonna buy it. I still don't believe he's not gonna buy it. Um, I think I could get honey potted where I'm the only buy guy who doesn't buy it. So there is a danger that everyone else goes buys and I don't buy it and now I don't have any for my store, right? But after seeing them give free packs to Ruxin, you know, I don't know how many people get free packs uh, but it seems like the only way that, you know, I, I mean, right now at this point in time, you cannot buy them. Upon the video release, I make my videos a week in advance. So I don't know when this video will be uploaded, but that's where it, I am today. I just think it's pretty savage. Um, I think it is very sad. Um, now, first of all, the reason I think it's so sad is because That opportunity could have been gone to somebody else, right? Cause maybe a small YouTuber, maybe somebody who's just trying to make it, maybe a streamer. Um, when you're, you know, I don't see too many 
Yu-Gi-Oh commercials on Magic channels, right? I don't think Alpha Investments ever done Yu-Gi-Oh. That's not the way you advertise. So number one, this offends me to the core because they have chosen to reward somebody who has rarely ever talked about Magic at all and just makes Yu-Gi-Oh content. Now I understand the Hearthstone and so on and, and you know what they did with Savaz back in the day with MPL, but this is something else, right? They seem to actively target the Magic audience, trying to make them as mad as possible. And by giving it to a big YouTube content or a big uh, Yu-Gi-Oh influencer, they are, and then they told him what to say. He was like, oh man, I love this. And uh, I don't think any of that's true. There was, there was like a minute of him just advertising the product, just egg on face advertising. I don't know what it is. I just think that this product would have been okay if they didn't have Kibler, they didn't have, you know, Ruxin, they didn't just advertise it like a normal product. But the way they've been advertising this product has been horrendous. You know, it's just the wealthiest people or the people who are the most subscribers get free access to unlimited product, it seems, uh, early of all things. Like it really sounds like they have like a bunch of uh, nepotism. I guess nepotism would be the word, but I don't know what the word cronyism, cronyism, yeah. It, it just feels that way where the, impl that the person, whoever it is, Mero or Aaron or whoever is making the decisions on their marketing, they favor people. And this is exactly my problem, the NPL. You know, a lot of people got invited two free times, including on Dungeons and Dragons employee of Wizard of the Coast. So the NPL special invites, I think it should go to the top Magic players or there should be some type of criteria. But it was a lot of cronyism, right? I remember um, that Ellie of the Veil person, she had to, uh, she was invited twice. She didn't save the first time money and she had to start our GoFundMe to buy the plane ticket to get there even though a prize pool was like 5,000 even if you lost. Why was she invited so many times when there were so many other people? I think the number one Magic player at the time, I forget, Austin, he was never even invited once. Even the, um, you know, the MPL, the, the person who won like the second MPL championship, the Mythic championship, he wasn't invited to defend his championship as a special invite. Like this stuff is just absurd, right? Like who's picking these special invites? And this is a cronyism that I feel is going to destroy Magic the Gathering long term because when you favor some people, um, and again, I like Ruxin, but it's just kind of a weird thing where you picked a Yu-Gi-Oh player and you pick Brian Kibler, who's a Hearthstone player. None of these people even love Magic. These people don't even know. Ruxin clearly doesn't know very much about Magic. And Brian Kibler, his YouTube channel is 99% Hearthstone. He's not playing Magic. In fact, he spited your game. He said, your game sucks. I'm playing Hearthstone. Basically, he says that Magic sucks and he's going to play Hearthstone every day. Um, so why would you give him money? It's like, it just blows my mind who they're sponsoring. Hunter Pence, I, trust me, Hunter Pence, Post Malone, you know, uh, Cassie Marsh, they don't need more money. It's free stuff, guys. You've given them enough. Um, I would have loved to see small time content creators, you know, open packs and, you know, for the first time, people have been playing the game for a long time, you know, the OGs, if you will. There's not many of us around, but I, I'm okay. I understand. I will never get any sponsorship. I would never get any packs. I get it. That's where I am right now because I'm trying to actively try to engage in a lawsuit with Wizard of the Coast, right? <laughs> kind of weird to, you know, I, I wouldn't even accept their product. I would throw it in the trash, right? It's like what I would do with Flesh and Blood Meta Zoo. They sent me some free product. I say, F you, <laughs> I just burn it. I will burn it. Like Rudy Br burns his promos. I will burn the product in front of you because I don't need free product. I can buy what I want on amazon.com for pennies on the dollar. <laughs> I bought this, like, imagine this crimson gift bundle. It has eight set packs, one collector's edition, and it's like $20. Isn't the collector's edition like $24 itself? or $20 itself, like I'm like struggling to understand how anyone can not buy from Amazon. I'm looking at the commander decks of, anyway, today is uh, Black, th today is Thanksgiving and it's Black Friday tomorrow. David Adams is, my God, they got Modern Horizons out at 200-ish. 
And I'm like, holy shit, I got effed in the butt. <laughs> you know, i I think the, the main problem I've detected is uh, cronyism, is this idea that they have favorites and they play to the favorites, even if it, it makes no sense at all. Uh, of like, you know, the special invites, for instance, they continue to invite the same people multiple times when the top magic player at the time didn't even get invited one. Even the guy who won the Mythic Championship didn't get invited to defend his Mythic Championship. Instead, they kept event inviting the same cosplayers over and over again. And you can look into the records. What I'm saying is not untrue, it is true. There are multiple people who got invited multiple times. It's not because they performed well or they knew the game. I mean, again, I would just clean house. I would just fire everybody at Wizard Coast. That's the only solution to stopping this cronyism. Hi, <laughs> guys.